Stanley Kubrick Part 5. Okay, now, I never saw the film Artificial Intelligence, uh, which is a Stanley Kubrick uh, Spielberg co-production made before 9-11. But until recently, I, I picked it up pretty cheap and uh, watched it I mean the movie itself in entertainment terms is pure mother trauma it's bad I mean it's some seriously nasty Dumbo Bambi kind of damage and I can see why most people don't want to talk about it because that film is harrowing it is just nasty anyway the movie itself, of course, it being a Spielberg production as well, it's full of 9-11 and 3-11 um, predictive programming, pre-advertising. Um, towards the end, Der Juden Law, um, Jude Law says to uh, Haley, he says, uh, oh, we've got to go to the apocalypse place, New York. And they fly. Of course, it's on an aeroplane. They fly to New York and you see the towers broken. Here again, towers broken. And you also see the World Trade Towers here, right? But then you see the broken towers, right? So after that, it's just, it hit me like a brick. Um, they go into submerge mode and Haley goes down in the submarine now and gets trapped by a massive Ferris wheel in the water. There it is. There's the Ferris wheel trapping him. Her. Um, let's watch Spielberg in here. This is this is where with uh, Haley, the girl, um, being trapped by the Ferris wheel underwater. There you go. That's the Ferris wheel landing on, on top. I don't know. We are in a cage. Yeah, you're in a Ferris wheel. So, but also a cage, you know, you're caged up, you're, you're in lockdown. Stanley ended AI with David and Teddy underwater, trapped by the Ferris wheel. 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 And the right. So there you go, there's your 311. <clears throat> West Coast, supposed to be Seattle, the place beyond the pines, the, uh, the Ferris wheel location. But could be LA, San Francisco now that they know that um, I've pre exposed their little black op on the West Coast, which will have a 311 date one way or another after the gun confiscation. Right, now. Let's get to Haley again. Now, about, I don't know, three or four years ago, I did a transvestigation on Haley. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's guaranteed. You see, in the movie, this was the boy who wasn't a boy. Do you get it? This was a robot who wanted to be a boy, wanted to go to the blue fairy. Uh, blue. Uh, and uh, become a real boy. Well, of course... It's a girl, Haley. This is a transgendered female to male person. So it's the boy who wasn't a boy. That's that's exactly what they were doing here. Uh, if you look at Haley Joel Osment's height, and I, I covered this a couple of few years ago when I made this transvestigation, one point six three meters. Well, let's go to that in feet. <clears throat> if you understand that. Five foot three and a half, barely even that. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is short even for a girl. Of course, Haley is a girl. Haley is a girl's name. Haley, like Haley Mills, the actress. Yeah, five foot three. Right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. For a start, you think that's a man's hand? You're kidding me. I mean, that's those. Fingers are tiny, but 
and they go around the, it's always around the eyes with um, female to male. They don't have the deep brow ridge of a male. There's a soft look around the eyes. around, And you, you can see that in um, John Legend as well. The soft look around the eyes is odd looking. John Legend is very odd looking in that way. And it's around the eyes. And Dane DeHaan, it's around the eyes again. Oh boy, I'm going to do a mega, mega one on that. Yeah, Valerian. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a good video, that one. And look who they've put Haley with. Mackenzie. Now, this is the uh, Terminator Dark Fate, Blackout Fate um, actress, the Blade Runner, replacing um, Daryl Hannah, or Daryl's a man's name. This is male to female. And this is female to male. You see the lack of deep brow ridge here yeah see it male female right they put the transgenders together they do the full role reversal like in valerian and i've got utter proof of that now i've always said it about valerian and if you want to see the height now this is this one here he's not a tall man he, he's i think he's under six foot right but look, he's still head and shoulders above Haley. Huh? Born a girl, the boy that wasn't a boy. Haley. They put it right in your face. They just give give them, you know, names that are female and male, uh, but you know, all all in reverse. Born Haley. It's a girl, transgendered. It's even got the trouser leg rolled up. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe that's just a pair of shorts and the angle of the photograph, but it kind of gives that effect, doesn't it? Um, all right. So here's your five foot three, Haley. Right. Um, but, but let's have a look. Yeah, we've seen the. Yeah, well, it's three eleven. It's 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 the Ferris wheel. It's the it's the West Coast. Um, and of course they were predictively programming 9-11 in that movie just before so an aeroplane he's in aeroplane mode here and here's the tower bro broken down at the right point and then he goes into submarine mode and comes across a massive ferris wheel underwater and the ferris wheel lands on him and traps him for a couple of thousand years um Anything more to say about the movie? Yeah, uh, one more thing about it. Again, it's Stanley Kubrick with his, his 2001 um, warning about technology again. Um, he was right on that, you know. And again, it's, 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 this movie is exactly doing that. It's warning you about technology, how a controlled future is being brought and technology is being used against you. It should be used for you, but it is being used against you. Um, right, I will go on to Valerian and Dana DeHaan next and Cara Levin. Um, because that needs, ah, oh, there's a scene in that one, boy, makes it so clear. 